Arab foreign ministers concluded today their preparatory meeting ahead of the 25th Arab Summit due in Kuwait on March 25th to the 26th, 2014. The chairman of the meeting, the first deputy premier and foreign minister, Sheikh Subah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Subah, expressed gratitude to the conferees for their valuable contribution to the meeting, praising the cordial atmosphere that prevailed during the deliberations, thus paving the way for a smooth summit on Tuesday. Sheikh Subah Al Khalid had earlier called on the Syrian regime to stop its aggression against civilians and its random use of weapons in populated areas, while urging the international community to immediately act to stop Israel's hostile policies against the Palestinians. He said the Syrian regime must stop its assaults on civilians and aerial bombardment of populated areas and lift the siege on civilians nationwide to allow entry of humanitarian aid. He called on the Syrian regime to comply with UN Resolution 2139 regarding the humanitarian situation in the country, as well as the importance of punishing all officials responsible for committing crimes, violating international humanitarian and international laws on human rights. Sheikh Subah Al Khalid then said the international community is facing a moral, humanitarian and legal responsibility to double the efforts to stop this catastrophe, which is the biggest in, hum in modern human history. He added that Kuwait hosted the two donors' conferences for the Syrian people in 2013 and this year, during which donors pledged almost 4 billion US dollars to supply relief supplies for the Syrian people inside their country or in neighboring states. Meanwhile, the Foreign Minister of Qatar said in a speech before the preparatory meeting that peace and stability will not be achieved in the Middle East unless the international community provides a just and permanent solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and offers the Palestinian people with their full rights topped by establishing an independent Palestinian state. For his part, the Arab League Secretary General Dr. Nabil Al Arabi said the summit comes amid a phase filled with serious challenges in the Arab world, expressing hope that the preparatory meeting results in decisive Arab resolutions that contribute to boosting joint Arab efforts and achieving the aspirations of the Arab people. The first deputy premier and foreign minister, Sheikh Subah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Subah, met today with the Qatari foreign minister, Dr. Khalid bin Mohammed Al Atiyah, on the occasion of his visit to the country to participate in the preparatory meeting of the Arab foreign ministers ahead of the 25th Arab summit due in Kuwait on the 25th and 26th of March 2014. Both officials discussed bilateral relations and means of boosting them in all domains and reviewed issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Foreign Undersecretary Khaled Sleiman Jarallah, the Director of the Deputy Premier and Foreign Minister's Office, Ambassador Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Nasser Mohammed Al Subah. The First Deputy Premier and Foreign Minister hosted a luncheon today at the Sheraton Hotel in honour of the Arab Foreign Ministers, the Arab League Secretary General Dr. Nabil Al Arabi, and their accompanying delegations on the conclusion of the Arab Foreign Ministers' preparatory meeting ahead of the 25th Arab Summit due in Kuwait on the 25th to the 26th of March 2014.